The Institute is a vision turned into reality. Congress authorized and funded the Institute, and it's administered nationally by the Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service. Our mission is to provide activities that are user-friendly, national in scope, and customer-based. The three things I'm most proud of, the development of a national satellite network, and breakfast lunch training modules for training food service assistants, and finally, a research unit to develop new procedures. The satellite network allowed us to immediately offer training to school nutrition personnel in all 50 states. Today we're talking about promoting healthy food practices, another P on our list of management functions. In the first three seminars, we discussed planning, purchasing, and preparation. These management functions come together as we explore ways to promote healthy food choices that help customers develop healthy food habits. I'm still in awe when I think that of the four satellite seminars that we've presented, that at least 80,000 people have seen these seminars. The other thing about the satellite seminars is that it provides an opportunity for school nutrition people, wherever they are, to get certification credit. The BLTs, that's the breakfast lunch training modules, have been exceptionally well received. School nutrition managers and food service directors are excited about having a training lesson that they can present in 10 minutes. Avoid shaking or tapping the measuring container. Shaking or tapping the container packs the ingredients. Read at eye level when using a glass or clear container. Add the ingredient until the total weight equals the required weight plus the weight of the container. Each serving should be leveled off so you will get the number of servings needed. Pack brown sugar firmly into the measuring container so it will take the shape of the container when empty. Very effective training can be offered in a 10 minute segment. Research gives us the basis for developing new ways of doing things in child nutrition programs. One of the most exciting things that the research unit has developed is its work with the American School Food Service Association in developing nutrition integrity standards that go along with ASFSA's definition of nutrition integrity. People around the country can access the Institute through our clearinghouse at any time to get information about any item they need help on. They do this through a toll-free telephone. We have three goals. Our first goal is to ensure that all children have access to meals. Secondly, that meals are acceptable and appealing to children. And finally, that the programs are operated in an accountable manner, both financially and nutritionally. The Institute was established for you to help you to improve the school nutrition programs for the children you serve. Those of us at the Institute are very proud to be partners with you in helping young people establish healthy food practices so that they're ready to learn when they go in the classroom. Thank you.